Hey there, I wanted to um, put out this first of a few different release videos that I'm going to put together. Um, just so that the, the average player or golfers in general can understand what happens to uh, the wrist and the release during the swing because it's such a misunderstood part of the swing. So this first one is going to be probably just the most simple one. We're looking at lead, wrist set, angle here in gears. So we have a, something representative of the wrist cock, basically. It's the angle between the lead arm and the golf club. So this is a PJ Tour player, so we'll, and it's just a pretty stock looking swing. So we'll run him back to the top. And as I rotate this, you're gonna see that angle uh, retract some and get smaller because he set his wrist, let's say to 90 degrees, and you can see that from any angle there. Now, here's where the confusion starts to set in for most players. At this point in the swing, most golfers or a lot of golfers think they're continuing to try to pull this grip in this direction toward the target as long as they can. But that's not the truth. That's, that's not true at all. Right in here, you want the club to start lining up for impact, so you have to let this angle expand. And you're even putting energy in the club in that point to do that. You have to, you have to physically work to try to line that club up for impact. And you're definitely not going to try to restrain it or hold the wrist back. So you can see here a 90 degree basically angle between the lead arm and the club. This waist high kind of power spot I would call it is where the lead arm and the club angle start to expand. And then the last little bit you're going to see is this golf club or the, this angle rotate. So the, the forearm rotates and this angle gets on top of the club to help square the face. So if you're slicing the ball, you never quite have this last little rotation of the, of the arms and club to square the face. So that'll help you if you slice. It'll also help if you're struggling with club head speed because by getting this club head to actually uh, move outward at this point in the swing, out toward the ball, you're going to pick up some club head speed. So again, try not to hold the angle back. Um, let it release through the ball. You're going to have a lot more speed to get a little more shallow angle of attack. And I think you're going to like the result. So I hope that helps you. I know it's helped a lot of students out here at the academy just having this visual. And we'll get into some more detail later, but I thought this was a good just basic kind of look at what a good player does with that lead wrist angle throughout the golf swing.